guys, and welcome back to Reed's Readers with your host, Clinton Reed. <laughs> and as you can tell, I'm in a different location. I wonder what location I am in. I'm sitting here in one of my best <laughs> friend's rooms in front of her amazing book collection because she's apparently challenging me to read some of her favorite books. What do you think of it? Shut up. And then I we have a guest. We did change it to one, though. Huh? We did change it to one. Or well, two. yes. But, and then we have a special guest. Another one of my best friends went through my bookshelves and chose a book for me to read. So we will get down to that in a minute. Let me bring in the best friend of the day, Miss Chantelle Allen. Come on in. I don't know why I just did your name like that, but get your ass in front of him. I'm a little scared now. Chantelle Allen! Drum roll, please! Alright. So, Chantelle decided to pick two of her favorite books for me to read a high fantasy and a poetry book. Yes. And we all know I've been stuck on this whole contemporary thriller kick and she's trying to bring me back to what she knows I love. Which is fantasy, witches, dragons, mages, fairies, Akatar. <laughs> well, you are in luck because this book has every one of those things you just listed. Plus Yay! Characters. So... Ooh, the first book she decided for me to read is a chunker. You trying to kill me, woman? Well, that's why you only get two books this time. Sure. She decided to give me The Black Witch by Lauren Forrest. Which actually has been on my one long list of TBR books to eventually get to. So she's just pushing me a little bit earlier. And you read this in a day, didn't you? One day, because I know life. And it is 637 pages. And if I love it, she has the sequel and the novellas, and the next one comes out of. Well, I pre ordered it, so yeah. yeah. This first book yeah. I ever was pre ordered. Let us see what this book is about now, shall we? Ellerin Gardner is the spinning image of her famous grandmother, Carnissa? Would that be how you would... Okay. Carnissa. Carnissa Gardner, who drove back the enemy forces in the Last Realm War. Ooh, there's a war. Oh, yeah. But while her people, the Gar... Gardnerians? Yes. Believe she will follow Carnissa as the next Black Witch of Prophecy, Ellerin is utterly devoid of power in a society that prizes magical ability above all else. When she is granted the opportunity to pursue her lifelong dream of becoming an apothecary. Ooh, I forgot about the apothecary element of this. Oh, I'm kind of intrigued even more now. Ellerin joins her brothers at the prestigious Verpax University to embrace a destiny of her own free from the shadow of her grandmother's legacy, but she soon realizes that the university may be the most treacherous place of all for the granddaughter of a black witch. I'm intrigued. So tell me why you decided to pick this for me. Like you said, to get you out of the contemporary swamp that you're in, um, it has mages, dragons, shapeshifters, and fae, and it deals with a lot of issues. It's also blurred by one of my all-time favorite authors from being a child. It's blurred by Tamora Pierce. I figured you'd like that too. I absolutely love The Black Witch, a whole new thrilling approach to fan- okay. Okay, I'm down. Now. What? is the next one you have decided for me to read. Well, I figured since you do like a little bit of poetry, my favorite poem is Atticus. Well, that's such a big idea. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Towards the camera. 
<laughs> well, I'm looking at the other side. <laughs> Anyways, um, it's called Love Her Wild, and I have about, I have a whole sticky note full of poems that I like that I've already marked for him, see if he even likes those. And I read this in one hour, so I figured this would give you a good break from a 637 page book. So. Brilliant. And I have been needing a new poetry in my life because I've read all the poetry books. So I did go own. easy on you on the second book since that one takes basically two books. <laughs> it also helps if I end up liking Atticus. She has his other book too. Yes. So. Well, these are the two main ones that will be read. Now. I mean, I'm hoping. They will be read. Y'all have been waiting for this secret TBR for a bit now. So. We did cut it down. We did. Because we did this I was going to make him read uh, Daughter of a Pirate King, and he hates uh, Thief. So. Okay, I will do this little thing right here. If I read both of these books this month and do my vlog the way I meant to, then we will do a part two to her forcing me to read. And I'll let her be choosing all the fantasies and stuff that I'm reading while I'm reading the thrillers off to the side. Sounds like a deal? Granted, if I end up loving this, I'm coming in here and stealing Iron Flower anyways for next month. So. I mean, I was <laughs> will that way you can because I mean, I got the two novellas together and then I have the next one. So I was like, ooh, I hope he likes that enough that he's actually going to get the other one. So, expect a vlog me reading these plus this next one but i thank you and i cannot wait because i have been kind of curious about atticus and we all know witches it's witch in the title i'm down regardless it just has every creature that you both like to read about in one book and then it deals with her finding herself and actually doing what she thinks is right in the end not what she she doesn't become a follower let me explain Chantel's number one thing she looks for in the book badass female characters if it's a badass bitch she's down eventually we may do a, a challenge of this where I try to convince her to read at least one contemporary novel to push her out of her comfort zone but it's not my number sound. I just think it's boring. Okay, I would, I'll, I'll probably give you a thriller. Because at least then there's something to keep your attention. You've read Killing November, so... Yes, and I want to pre-order... I will probably Killing give you... November. I will probably give you The Deceivers, which has kind of a similar vibe. To, like, slowly introduce you to that. Oh, because I give you a thick book, you gotta give me a thick book? Deceivers is not a thick book. Deceivers is only, like, 400 pages. Oh, I was thinking of, um, uh, Little Brace. Never mind. That's okay. Diviners. Yeah, Diviners. Granted, I could give you Diviners. Because that's what you've been trying to get me to read for yes. eight Actually, times. if I read these and actually read and rev Comment down below. I want to know how many people want Chantel to read The Diviners by Libba Bray and get her thoughts that's on everyone's fair. favorite book. That's not fair. So. If I read The Diviners, the yes. then you have to read all of those. Alright. If I end up liking this, I'll continue on. If you end up liking Diviners, then you can continue on. That's that that that's if I end up hating this. I don't know about the ghost creatures you talked about though. <laughs> Book two. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now Chantel's gonna leave the screen for just a few minutes. As I bring in, everyone has been wanting to see one of my best, 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 best friends. My drag mother, the 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 soul to my soul. It. Ooh, to be honest, everyone thinks me and him are gonna end up together, but I still think it's funny that I'm dating someone like him and he's dating someone similar to me. So, but let's introduce Lawrence. <laughs> Girl, you're doing the most. When don't I? I know. I am the drama queen. Let's get it. But we may want to raise that a little bit because half my head's cut off. I'm a little taller than Chantel. Why you gotta be tall? 
Sorry. Sorry guys, kind of like angle the camera just slightly different. Didn't realize I'm a tall bitch. that her inflated ego back there. Ooh. Okay, thank you. That better? Yes. Okay, so Lawrence went through my shelves and decided to pick one book off the shelf, which was the book that I picked. Now, mind you, I haven't read any of his books that he has. I'm a, the style of books that I like to read are more like murder mystery, like crime novel y type stuff. So. Which we all know I have a whole section for him to pursue. So, what stood out to me on his shelf was A Question of Holmes. And because he chose this one, which is. Ooh, he did the same thing I did. Which is book four <laughs> in the. Charlotte Holmes series. I will be reading this one, but because I've read book one and book two, I kind of need to read book three, A Case for Jamie, as well as A Question for Holmes. So, I'll hold this one if you want to lift up the other one, which this series is about Charlotte Holmes, who is the great, 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 however many greats, granddaughter of Sherlock Holmes, and Jamie Watson, who is whatever many greats of Dr. Watson. And how they solve mysteries. And then there's also a Moriarty in here. Mm -hmm. I really absolutely love. love. The second book talks about him. Person, right? Yes. And he's going to be borrowing the first one, A Study in Charlotte. And you guys know... And you guys know that this month, I will be taking a part in the Sherlock along by reading the first two books in the Sherlock Holmes. Hopefully, we're, we're, we're not going to push it now. Because these are now starting to take precedence. Because apparently I never follow through with what people want me to do. So... <laughs> so... But he'll be reading a study in Charlotte. And I will probably read a study in Scarlet at least. It's the, it's the first one. Cause the first two books of Sherlock Holmes is only 147 pages. I should be able to like throw those in before I get to these. Yeah. So, I will be doing a vlog style wrap up with these two books included with these two. Granted, these two will take first precedence and then I'll follow along with these. Because I never read what Chantel wants me to read, apparently. Nope. So... How many TBRs has she had you do that you not gotten to? Can we just talk about that? Only one. I feel like she's given you a couple of lists of books to read. There's only been one. Mm -hmm. And then we discussed what we got from the library and another one. And we okay. never did a follow up from those library books. I mean, because I DNF like three of those. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you did. She lying. So, this is my tentative. <laughs> Let me change that word, because tentative means not going to. Sorry, she was taking a picture off camera. <laughs> Selfie! Hello! Okay. I will be reading these in a vlog coming this week. You'll see this hopefully posted on a Monday, and I will hopefully be vlogging the whole week. <laughs> And we will get all of these, and the boyfriend will just have to deal with the fact that I have to read a 600-page book plus two 300-page books plus a poetry collection in a week. Well, okay, I'm going to stretch it out to two weeks just in case, because we all know Corona has got all of us kind of slumpy and not wanting to do anything and wanting to sleep a lot more. So, and Glenn has decided to join us. Y'all all been wanting to know what the cat look like. Oh, they have? Yes. Oh, this is my baby. Say hi, Gleam. He's a rag doll. Say hi, Gleam. This is all... Okay, she's going to get sugar real fast before we end this video. And welcome to the stage, sugar. Oh, I'm so short. Here's sugar. Looking like a sugar lump. I mean, in the last live show, all the animals entered, and I just was too lazy to go out there and grab one. Because Melanie was playing with cats, and uh, Allie was playing with a couple dogs. No, one dog. But, that is all I've got for you guys today. Lawrence, want to say good boy? 
Bye. Chance y'all want to enter in and say boy? <laughs> if you guys like this video, hit that thumbs up. And if you're new, might as well hit that subscribe. Because you all want to know my thoughts on these books. And if you have read any of these four lovely books, comment down below and tell me your thoughts on the books. And maybe you'll see maybe similarities. And if you haven't read them and you want to join in, and you have any of them, go ahead. Let us have fun together. And I hope you all are being safe and sound during this horrible, horrible time. What do you miss the most? Huh? What do you miss the most? Going to a bookstore. Right? I was about to say, these are like what I want to go do. <laughs> I'm like, we all know when my anxiety gets high, I just go to a bookstore and walk. I don't always have to buy something. I just walk. I just go look for these. And she looks for these notebooks. Mm -hmm. Cute little like designs. But. <laughs> but. That's all I've got for you guys. Remember kids reading is what? Ooh that was bad. There we go. Fundamental. Until next time. Bye.